Well, hey, Crafty Nistas, what's going on? I have a envelope punch board tutorial today. I have a cousin that was making these purses and she asked me if I had tried any and I hadn't. I'm kind of a gadget kind of girl. I have to have something to want um, to make it. Um, just like cards, you have stamps that motivate you to make cards. I didn't have anything that was an object to make me want to make these um, purses. So I got a hold of this envelope punch board um, back in my um, haul from Tuesday morning and a friend of mine asked me a while back about the envelope punch board or I had mentioned it and um, said that they didn't need it because they weren't making didn't need to make envelopes. I was like, there's so much more that you can do with the envelope punch board than making envelopes. So this is test one for me. I started out with this paper, this floral paper right here that's on top. I picked that up also at Tuesday morning. And so I am just tacking that down onto this paper, which is summery. Um, both of these together, I thought that that would look feminine and floral for summer and light and airy. So I'm just tacking this down and getting this prepped. Here is the punch board. Um, so what you're going to do is remember two and five eighths. And you're just going to punch it down once it's lined up with two and five eighths. And then you're going to slide your little guide here and going to make a crease in that. Then you're going to turn it around to all four corners and do two and five eighths. I'm going to go ahead and score that again diagonally and punch. It's just as simple as that. This little tool is what made me say, hey, I'm also getting ready to see some friends and family and I'm the type of person that always likes to bring something, um, likes to give away little crafts and treats. That's just who I am. So I thought that I would play with this board and the purses came to my thoughts. So you're going to flip this paper over and do the same thing, just two and five eighths, punch and score. Once you get all four, you're going to put that to the side and then you're going to go ahead and fold up. If you notice at the top, there's supposed to be another notch up there. Somehow I got away with myself and only did three, but I'm going to notice that in a few seconds. What I'm doing is just going ahead and folding over all my score lines and getting it ready to pop up in this box shape. It is now when I notice that, hey, I missed one. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit it at two and five eighths, punch, and then my line is going to actually match up with the rest of the lines I made so that I know that I'm okay. One thing to remember I forgot to mention is that when you're doing your score line going down to the bottom, you want to make sure you don't punch through the paper. One of those, I've made several of these, and one of them I did punch through the paper. It's basically a hole in your box or your bag, so that's not going to work. So just be careful of that if you are making that. Then I'm just going to go ahead and fold up my tabs here. Then you have some triangular shapes at the bottom and you're just going to fold those in and get them creased. And you're going to do that for all four sides. As you can see here, I'm somewhat in, sh in shot for this. <laughs> um, you're going to go ahead and fold that up again. Get your sides together. Get to make sure the crease is in good and go to the next one. And continue to do that. So once you've got all four together, then I'm going to flip up one of the sides and go ahead and begin to glue them down 
what you're going to end up doing is gluing those together just like I pressed and made those score lines. You're going to go ahead and glue those together. I like to use score tape. So I'm going to go ahead and press that down and then remove the tape. And here I am taking off the tape. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold these together. And there you go. And you're going to do that for all four sides. And you're going to end up with something that looks like a box. Okay, now that you've got your box together, you're going to end up folding it in and it's going to give you that oval shape that's going to look like a purse or somewhat of a purse. So I'm just going to get some tape and tape down the inside. Um, I didn't like to tape it before. I noticed when I was trying to fold in my sides, it made it kind of uneven so I just did some tape did the cheater method um, and kind of taped down the inside um, if you use score to it kind of if you glue that down it kind of holds it in tight and so when you kind of fold in your sides or trying to side where you want your opening at sometimes it pulls it I just didn't like that look so I'm just using tape but of course it's the inside I really don't matter to me but you can do what you want to do if you're going to uh, do this craft. And so that's what I ended up with there. I folded down the inside of that other flap there. And I did use score tape and tape that down. I'm going to use these fastener dots. Um, I'm so glad the Dollar Tree got these in. That saves. I don't have to get that expensive Velcro. So... What I'm doing is pressing that down to make it in place. Then I'm going to pull it up and then press firmly. And those do fit on pretty good once they're pressed down. And I'm going to fluff my box out. I ended up gluing on a little piece of medallion there at the, the top, that little button. Now I'm just doing um, my strass. I end up cutting up some half inch strips so I just took a one inch strip and cut it in half then I put some score tape on there and I also put some tomboy tomboy glue Tom I cannot say that word Tom bow glue um, on there to make sure it extra sticks um, if I had some brads that had bling on it I probably would have used that. Some of my strips did end up coming off and I had to um, re-glue those for handle uh, on the, the handles. Um, so if you have brats that you want to use, yeah, go ahead and do them. They'll make it more secure. But I used the score tape and then the Tombow glue on that and that's how that came out. That blue may look bright, but that is the paper that I used underneath. And that's just how I coordinated it and um, kind of looks different in this light. Okay, and so now I'm going to go ahead and put some ling on the top of there on all four of those handles and press those down real good next I'm going to work on the little chain 
So I have a big roll of this that I bought for beading a while back. And I'm just cutting some of that off. Now I'm going to use my embosser to emboss a tag. I um, already have pre-done that. Um, I used the embosser to put my name on it. I didn't want to make it look like um, I've seen some of them online that look like other uh, brand name purses. If I'm going to do this, I'm putting my name on it. <laughs> so I went on and put a hole punch on the little tag. And now I'm going to get a strip of paper. I'm going to use that same blue color that I use for the handles and then I'm just going to cut out a just freehand cut out a box um, I'm just going to shape it up a little bit but it, there's no measurements here I'm just kind of eyeing, eyeing it how I want to look some of them I made bigger some of them I made smaller here I'm just using the scissors to cut out not actually cut out but just to cut some little strips in there to make it look like a little fringe Then I'm going to cut off some of that top. Then I'm going to take my little tape runner here and fold that over to make a cylinder. Then I'm going to take my hole puncher and I'm going to punch a hole on one side. Then I'm going to flip it over and look down through it and try to somewhat even it out. Where I can see the hole on the other side. Then I'm going to take my chain and I'm going to weave that through the hole. And then I'm going to pick up the tag. Next, I didn't like how that looked, so I wanted to add a little extra. So I'm adding this blinged out tape here. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap that around. And then I'm just going to put a little piece of tape, scotch tape on the top of that to secure that. And then I'm going to take a strip of bling and put down at the bottom and bling that out. And that is my little purse. And so next I'm just going to show you what I put in these. Um, just some little things that you know that you that I have in my purse. Um, just a little thought. It's nothing big. Um, but like I said, this is just things that I like to do. Um, so um, I'm just going to put some mints in there. Who wouldn't want mints in their purse? Um, I picked up these three packs of hand creams from the Dollar General. Dollar Tree has seemed to be wiped out of things with that sale they had on Sunday. Um, so they're going to need some time to restock. So I picked those up. Um, those were a dollar a piece. So I picked up all, um, several boxes of those. Then I picked up some emery boards. You can always pick up... Um, Seemed there were like 20 in that pack, so that was a deal. It was only a dollar, um, dollar and a half, I think. And just at the Dollar General. So I'm just going to wrap some emery board, um, some hand cream, some mints, and my favorite candy is peanut m and M. So I'm just going to throw that in there in this little purse. And that will complete this craft. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Come on over. We'd love to have you. And until next time, Crafty Nistas. See you later, Crafty Nistas.